Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Scorpio. This is a collective tarot reading session for you, Scorpio. This reading for today, Scorpio. This is a love message. This is a love reading for you. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. This is a love reading. This is a love message for the Scorpio sign. Let us see what's coming towards you, Scorpio. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is a for the Scorpio sign, okay? What is the message for Scorpio, please? What is the guided message for Scorpio, please? What is the love reading, the love message for Scorpio? We will tap into the current feelings of your person, okay? So I want you to think about your person, visualize them, think about them, and we'll look into the love reading for you, Scorpio, okay? What's the guided message for Scorpio, please? What can I get for Scorpio? You have the Seven of Pentacles in here. The Queen of Pentacles is here. You've got the Knight of Wands. You've got the Ten of Pentacles, you've got the Judgment card, the Ten of Swords. I'm hearing the word, Scorpio, you're bored. You are bored in the house, or there's something of a... Okay, let me just finish this. Eight of Cups. The Page of Swords. The High Priestess. Okay, all right. Let's start the reading. Um, so Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. There is a feeling in here, Scorpio, where Seven of Pentacles, will you invest into this person? Will you call them? Will you date? You know, um, there's a part of you that I'll probably just concentrate on my work, on my career, on my business. Also, I'm kind of picking up that, wow, this is a very staggered energy. So you're having second thoughts with a romantic situation. And on top of that, I'm also picking up that maybe I'll just, you know, it, it's a feeling, Scorpio, where you're, bring, you're being presented something. Imagine, imagine you're sitting in a restaurant, the, the waiter, waitress comes to you. They present you the seven of pentacles. Do you want this? No. And then they present you something again. Do you want this? No. They present you something again. Do you want this? Mm, not sure. So something tells me that you are sitting in a vibe where uncertainty. You want it, but you don't want it at the same time. Or I would say you want a lot of things at the same time. Like you can't choose or you can't focus. Okay? Because the Seven of Pentacles, you find it boring. Romantically, it's boring. It's not jumping up. It's not giving you the result. It's it's nowhere to be found for some of you guys. You think of them, you follow up, you call them, you reply, but they're just missing all in action. You know, the Seven of Pentacles, like you're invested emotionally, mentally to a romantic situation, but they're not really, it doesn't give you a kick off, you know, the seven of pentacles, like you're looking, you know, it feels like I've got roots and stem in here and you're still, it's still here, you know, you never move, seven of pentacles, yeah, nine of cups, come on, let's get it on, nine of cups, you wish for things to move, Scorpio, in a romantic situation, you wish for it to speed up, like you, you wish for things to speed up. You don't want, you want a straightforward, you want something shortcut. You don't, you don't actually some, like it's <laughs> nine of cups. You're bored, Scorpio, bored in the house. Like you don't want romantic. You know, you just want to, hey, do you like me? I like you, you know, let's be consistent. Let's hang out and let's be official. Let's be straightforward. You know, you like me. I like you, so let's hang out, let's 
you know let's talk all the time Some, something to do it let's be consistent and you know if you if you like it let's go for it you know like let's let's just jump into take a leap of faith thing you're i don't know i'm kind of picking up like you're encouraging somebody someone to speed up hey you know like speed up the seven of pentacles the nine of cups in here and then at the same time because you find your romantic situation slow nine of pentacles you're also thinking like okay maybe i'm just gonna put up into my business and do maybe okay love is not working i'm just gonna invest my time into business project maybe i'm just gonna find a new job new career queen of pentacles i've got time i am in my youth i am in my prime you know something tells me i'm in my prime i'm in the most confident intelligent skilled so if love is not working let me just put myself into another situation where focus myself into another situation where i will be able to expand queen of pentacles i want more money more good vibe more experience queen of pentacles knight of wands i'm kind of picking up scorpio that this doesn't work you will shift to career knight of wands or i'm seeing you burn your energies to um fitness knight of wands for some of you you're over there's a part of you that you want it to happen romantically but you're also know when to let go because something tells me, yep, you want to speed up things with a person, with a situation. But if it's not, you know, meant to be, you're not going to force them. You're a queen. You don't level down. You don't beg. You don't force. So you, you're going to focus. For some of you who isn't, for some of you guys who's resonating that, okay, things are not, things are moving slow. I'm seeing you shift your focus to money, to career, to rebranding yourself queen of pentacles or for some of you you will spend a lot of time in the gym there's a lot of you will boost back into um to wellness to fitness in here you will embrace the process like okay this is not working i'm just gonna embrace that this is stuck and i'm gonna put my energy in motion into my business into my career or to be beautiful to be pretty to be handsome to wellness to fitness you know you're gonna fix your goal there you know this reading tells me you want love but you don't want to be frustrated so you're going to put your energy to money career or wellness you're gonna burn that wants and needs and desire to just put it in your body burning the night of once in here look at that looks like your zumba you know moving you have lots of energy you have lots of energy you have lots of passion you have lots of time you have lots of money <laughs> you want to share it with somebody special love you know you've got money in the bank you've got time you've, you've got the time and this bloody romantic is not connecting with you you've got time you've got the youth your prime you're very smart you want you want to converse with a lover but they're not so available like you. But you're not frustrated. The thing with you is that you've got you've got everything except this one, which is still in process for some of you. You're not frustrated. You know when to stop the overthinking. So you won't you will divert it to Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Yep, two of swords. You know, like okay, I'm blindsided by love. Love is not working. I'm just going to put it with my Queen of Pentacles mode. I'm just going to build and build my money, my empire, my career. And I'm also going to spend a lot of time beautifying myself. Gym, muscles, healthy eating, meal plans. You know, I'm just going to do it here instead of, you know, be blindsided by love, which is not working. So you know when to end your frustration when it comes to love romantic. You're just in control of your thoughts, I would say. Very, very smart. You're acting like a queen, a smart queen who doesn't spend all of her time or a king who doesn't spend all of her time chasing, um, chasing unavailable people. Now, let's look at your romantic situation. OK, so the romantic interest, Ten of Pentacles. OK, 
So this romantic interest will really advance. I would say, you Scorpio, you're really more and more advanced with your person in terms of life, in terms of life goals, in, term, in terms of life goals, life achievements, in a general, in a in a general bird's eye view. If I compare you versus them, they have more challenge than you are. I would say ten of but it will be solved soon because there's a ten of swords in here. The person that you desire, the person that you desire, the romantic situation that you desire. Did you notice that I did you notice that I pick up money where this is a love reading? Because there's something about stability, security, finance, job, long distance, something to do with setup that is blocking the view, blocking you and this person. Your person doesn't tell you that if they're not available, if they don't want to fall in love, it's because of the Ten of Pentacles. They could be they could be finalizing their divorce. They could be, they could, they have other Ten of Pentacles. Like Ten of Pentacles, this is a responsibility that they want to release. Look at that. Look at that. Ten and judgment. They want to release that. There's something that they're completing as a responsibility. Like this person is also, they're wanting to reach a certain stability, a certain savings, a certain stability, security, you know. It will free them. That's their goal, is to free themselves from this responsibility and walk away from that and they could really enjoy relationship with you or love in its entirety. Like this person that you want, you only know what you know, Scorpio, but there's lots going on with this person's life, to be honest with you. Your, your problem is... I. So let's put it this way. We don't have a perfect life. You know, we always have something that we want or we work on. Whatever you're working on, it's it's far. Like it's it's whatever this person's working on, it's far, far from your challenge, Scorpio, I would say. Yeah, six of cups connected to maybe they've got kids, maybe they've got responsibility, you know, mother, father. Yeah. Seven of Cups. You know, this person doesn't share to you, Scorpio, the entirety of what they're working on. They don't want you to see them as weakness. They don't want you to know something connected to what they're working on. That whatever they're working on, it's, it's disabling them to enjoy your connection. You're not the problem. They're not the problem either. It's their burden. It's the responsibility that they've got. Like, there's something in front of them that they need to process. But you're next. Ten of Swords. Something tells me that this person is unfocused because they're building something. There's something in, in front of them that they can't really let go of that. They need to process it. And they're so, so... Um, they're so really into processing it, completing it, ten of swords, so they can focus on their own life. Like your person is not in control of their life. Something is dominating them. Yeah, seven of swords. Something tells me your person, they cannot offer what you want because of something connected to money, divorce, stability, long distance. But it's about to go. It's about to go because it's been a burden to them. Like they've marked that X. It means that they don't want this in their life. I don't know, maybe they're a third party, maybe something difficulty with finance, stability. Like I'm also picking up your person. I'm getting a lot of finance stability with your person. Like they want to reach a certain level. Like they want to reach the savings or money or they want to reach a certain status or something that they want to, They their goal is to reach this. Cause, because if they reach this point, they can zero out whatever they're working on and ten of swords they can walk away zero problem and they can really focus on their life and that life is connected to having love full on love and relationship and can exclusive offer it eight of cups yeah you somehow you met at the wrong timing it's it's kind of frustrating scorpio because 
you're so available, your person is not. And it crushed your heart because this is the person that you want, but they don't have time. The thing that frustrates you is that if they're not available to commit, why do they come to you? Because you inspire them. You know, some people like, even though they're not available for love or commit, they want to be around someone like you, Scorpio. Eight of Cups, yeah, Four of Swords. They're trying. The thing with this person is they don't communicate to you exactly what they want. Because they don't know exactly. I'm kind of picking up whatever issues are blocked. It's going to be over, of course. It's already the 10. But somehow they also don't want to frame you or put you on a... Put you on a, like, how do you say this? Like, they should have, you know what they should do is to tell you, Scorpio, that, hey, could you wait for me? You know, something to do with not hurting you. Could you wait for me? They don't want to do and say that, could you wait for me, Scorpio? I'm just going to do this errands. The thing is, they don't know when they, this will be over. That's why they can't say, you know. It's really like your person is in a in a point where um, they want to be available, but they're not. I think they tried, but they could not commit. And they will just disappoint you further if they tried. With this level of four of swords, I mean, look at them. They disconnect with their heart, eight of cups. They're doing all of their power. Scorpio to eliminate something yeah two of wands you know what I'm kind of picking up the breakthrough of you and this person you're doing the right thing if your person is unavailable if they're inconsistent unavailable let it be go and build your empire go and build your brand your business your creative project go and take care of yourself because one day, this person will quit playing game with your heart. I mean, metaphorically. They will be available. And I think this is connected to when the karmic nodes move, Scorpio. Me. So devote yourself to be as rich, as famous, as beautiful. Build the muscle. Build the brand. Build your profile. Build your empire. This person will be available. This is a soulmate. They will be the one to run away. Like they will be the one, they will be the one to run towards you. You know? High priestess. Yeah, sun card. There is someone. This reading tells me there is someone that you really like, that you really want, but they're building something. And somehow they will be able to successfully build or get rid of a huge block. When the karmic nodes move, May, July, May, June, May, they will be the one to come back to you. High priestess, like I'm back for good. I'll quit. I'll quit playing game with your heart, Scorpio. Yeah. So if your intuition is telling you that they're not available and you don't want to be frustrated, it's either go for a new love or go and invest your energy to your beautiful soul, to your life, Scorpio. But if you want this person, this strong connection, it's a very strong connection. You know what? You really like this person. You like their face. There's something angelic about their face. You know, it's a feeling of... I'm kind of picking up like if you are... A, like if you... For example, if you're a female, if you'll be a guy in your next life, this is the face that you want to be. There's something with their face, angelic face, that you, that you like so much. Or something... I don't know... There's something about their appearance or there's something angelic about them, to be honest with you. There's something like guardian angel, angelic, or maybe you're like twin flame. But there's something special about this person. 
they can calm you down i would say like this is a person that can calm you down because i'm seeing i'm seeing like white gray angel wings and white color cloud feather pink lots of lots of cotton cotton candy smell smell of linens lots of white you 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 feel when you guys are good when you guys are good together you feel very peaceful with this person like you are in the arms of an angel that's a song but yeah there's something about this person that they can calm you maybe this person is introvert but this is your love reading this is your love message i know scorpio have been overthinking about this person this is their current feelings towards you you have a choice you always have a choice when things doesn't work your way in a certain situ situation you always have a choice okay life doesn't stop when things are not good with a specific situation there's other doors okay i don't think this is rejection i think it's just delay you know it's a delay it's a timing issue so this is your reading scorpio thank you so much for connecting with me thank you so much um for being here and if you would like to further connect with me guys connect with me guys you know what to do all of the details is down in the description box below thank you for the love notes thank you for the coffee and private reading and merchandise everything is processed in the website i'll see you soon again guys you have a great day bye scorpio